Hi, everyone. My name is TJ Hellstock with the National Sports Media Association. Today, I am with 2022 Georgia Sports Writer of the Year, Orlando Ledbetter. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Tim. All right. So my first question for you is, what does receiving this award mean to you? Well, it's a great honor, Tim, uh, to be recognized by your peers and by such a, a prestigious organization. Uh, you know, we don't really work for the awards, but it's always good to be recognized. Right. Uh, so in terms of sports writing, what was your first job in the business? What was your first intro job? Yeah, my first job after college was at the Charlotte Observer as the area roundup editor <laughs> okay. and eventually uh, started uh, covering high schools uh, at the Charlotte Observer. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So how did you go from working at the Charlotte Observer to where you are now? What was your career path? You career do? path? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> after leaving Charlotte, I went to the Cincinnati Enquirer, where I was also one of the high school writers. Uh, then eventually covered uh, Ohio State uh, football and basketball and uh, helped out on the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, <laughs> I was a Bengals uh, on the backup Bengals writer on the Super Bowl team. <laughs> so last year when they made the playoffs, I was like, hey, I covered the last playoff game. But uh, uh, from there, went to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel as the Marquette University basketball beat writer and then helped uh, – with the Packers, uh, with uh, Bob McGinn, the great uh, football writer there, learned a lot working with him, covering the Packers Super Bowl teams of the 90s uh, during the Brett Favre era. And uh, then uh, from there, um, you know, I came to Atlanta uh, and uh, got on with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution as uh, uh, one of the high school writers in the Gwinnett Bureau and uh uh, it was quick. They knew I was going to be on the football beat, but, uh, you know, I had to come in through that uh, opening. And I've uh, been covering the Falcons since the 2005 season when they went to the uh, uh, 2004 season when they went to the NFC Championship game against the Eagles. But uh, and then one thing I just kind of left out was when I was in Cincinnati, I went to law school <laughs> at wow. the University of Cincinnati and got my Juris Doctorate and uh, passed the bar in the state of Wisconsin uh, and practiced a little law along the way uh, in corporate law, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Saggio, Birdsall, and Harlan, and then here in Atlanta at Prelu and Associates. Yeah, cool. All right. So in terms of other sports writers, who did you look up to? Who do you look up to? Well, I was a paper boy in Cleveland, and so before my customers would get their paper, <laughs> I had to read the sports page. <laughs> and uh, the, my uh, childhood heroes were the sports writers of the Cleveland Plain Dealer, Hal Leibowitz, uh, Russell Snyder, uh, you know, just to name a few. Uh, um, Ed Shea, he covered Ohio State, uh, whoever, you know, and, uh, you know, those were uh, my guys who brought the Cleveland Browns, the Indians, and the uh, Cavaliers to life, and, and uh, I just started writing at the junior high school paper and uh, uh, was able to keep writing um, in college, uh, in high school and in college, and I was editor-in-chief at the uh, the Hilltop at Howard University. All right. And then last question, what advice do you have for upcoming college and high school students who want to get where you are, who want to be sports writers? Well, yeah, now it's the more you can do. It was just uh, radio. Everything was separate then, you know, uh, print, TV, radio. Now it's all together. You got to be able to do all of it. And uh, the best advice I, I got from a writer uh, was from Sam Lacey, myself and Sean Paul. Paul. We were classmates at Howard together, and uh, we, we ran into Mr. Lacey at the communications conference and were asking for advice. And uh, he said, hey. Use the period. So uh, I took that to me mean uh, write short, write clear sentences and, um, you know, get to the point. Everybody wants to, you know, ramble around and so forth. But uh, use the period was the best advice I received from Sam Lacey. And my advice to the kids uh, that would like to get into the sports field now, uh, you may not have as many writing jobs as you used to. The uh, mm -hmm. entry-level jobs of covering high school are, are, are gone pretty much. 
So you need to be able to get on the radio, get on your podcast, get on TV, and, and be um, able to tell stories. It's about storytelling, and it's about um, you know doing the research and putting in the uh, work so you sound um, intelligent and prepared. So uh, that would be my advice to uh, anybody that's uh, seeking to enter the uh, sports journalism field today. Well, thank you for sitting with, with us today, answering all my questions, and that's all I got for you. Well, all right, Tim. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. All right. Thank you. I'll see you later.